on. New train friends. One day, the depot with all the trains became noisier than usual. Oh my! Where are you from? How did you get in here? Who brought you here? The three trains, red, yellow, and blue, boisterously asked questions to the child. The pale child looked at the trains with a confused look on his face. What is this place? What? what? Uh, I was playing hide and seek with my friends, and I hid in a huge box where I fell asleep. And when I when I woke up, I was here. Oh my! Someone must have carried him all the way here. Not a huge surprise. You know how cats get here that way from time to time. Then where do you live? Where do I live? I don't know. <laughs> Oh my, don't cry! When the child burst into tears, the trains didn't know what to do. Guys, let's help the child find his way back home. Good idea. I think he's from a city. That's where a lot of people come and go. You're right. Many people live in a city. Red, you should help him then. M me? Red was a train that traveled to various cities. Upon seeing the tall buildings with bright lights, the child's eyes widened. Wow, it's amazing! There are so many sharp mountains here. What? <laughs> That's an office building. That's an apartment. A lot of people are inside. Oh, I see. There aren't tall buildings like that where I live. Oh, then you must not be from a city. Red, yellow, and blue put their heads together. I don't think he's from a city. He had never seen a tall building before today. Really? Then, is he from a farming village? Probably. There aren't many tall buildings in farming villages. I'll take him along. Yellow was a train that traveled to farming villages. Wow! I've never seen a big grass field like this before. What? Never? So this isn't where you live? No, the ground wasn't flat. There weren't a lot of crops or fruit trees. Red, yellow, and blue put their heads together again. They just couldn't figure out where the child was from. So, he's not from a farming village? No. Where he lived, there weren't big grass fields, crops, or fruit trees. Then, maybe he lived on the coast. Like where you traveled to, Blue? Yeah, there are a lot of rugged rocks and a lot of fish, instead of crops and fruit trees. That's, That's it. it! He's, he's from, from the, the coast! coast. Blue carried the child and traveled alongside the shore. Wow! It's an endless lake! It's beautiful! Huh? A lake? That's the sea! The sea? <sighs> so this isn't it either. When Blue returned to the depot with the child, red and yellow sighed and sulked. They were hoping that Blue could find the child's home. Hmm. Doesn't it seem like he's getting smaller by the day? Right. I thought that too. He must be really missing his home. Then they saw a familiar face. Hey guys, it's been a long time. Green! Green had the longest travel route. He carried cargo to and from mountain villages where not a lot of people lived. What? What's this child doing here? Red, yellow, and blue looked at one another and shouted in unison. Green, help this child find his home. home! Huh? After hearing the story from the three trains, Green carried the child into the mountains. Let me just say that not a lot of people live where I go, so don't get your hopes up. Got it! Hey kid, I, I hope, hope you find, find your home. home! Me too. I might be back, but... 
Take care. Green passed by cities, farming villages, and coastal towns. He pushed across the winding tracks, and as soon as a mountain village covered in snow came into sight, a smile spread across the child's face. This is it. This is my home. Really? As soon as Green stopped at a small train station, the child jumped off. His friends came to welcome him from all directions. Snowy, where were you? We looked for you everywhere. Sorry, I went on a special trip. Wow! Ha <laughs> ha! Snowy went to Green to say a few words. Thank you so much for getting me here. Thank everyone for me. Of course. Don't get lost now. Yeah, but I had a great time seeing so many places and meeting red, yellow, and blue. Ha ha ha! Of course. Green was sent off by the little snowman, and he left for the depot. He drove a little faster than usual to tell his friends the good news about Snowy.